Hello, I'm Win Lay of IBM. In this session, I'd like to talk about the emergence of the Web Process Designer in IBM BPM. My objective is to give you an update and demo on the latest capabilities of the Web Process Designer. As you may know, we have two versions of Process Designer, the web-based one, which is newer, as well as the desktop or Eclipse-based one, which has been around for a long time. The intended audience of the session is people currently authoring an IBM BPM. There are some key takeaways that I'd like to convey. First of all, since it's web browser based, the web PD is easily accessible to all. Secondly, IBM has significantly enhanced the web PD over the years. If you're used to BPM 855 or 856, you'll see a huge difference in BPM 857 2017 releases. Today, the web PD actually does more than the desktop PD. In particular, newer BPM artifacts can only be authored in the web PD. The ease of accessibility and the growth of its capabilities have allowed the WebPD to become the primary authoring tool in IBM BPM. As a corollary, the desktop PD has actually become deprecated. It's still supported, but you won't see IBM enhancing it very much in the future. Let me go into further detail on each of these points. On the easy accessibility, since the WebPD is browser-based, that means there is zero installation. You don't need to download and install any binaries, and this includes updates and upgrades. This also means that it works on all major platforms. For example, I'm a Mac person. I couldn't run the desktop PD natively on my Mac, but I can uh, run the web PD very easily. Using the web PD is very easy. You just log into Process Center, and then you'll see your list of process apps. You pick the app that you want to work on, press Open in Designer, and it magically appears in the WebPD. Let me spend some time to go through the enhancements on the WebPD over the last few years. Back in 2014, BPM 855 was the initial release of the WebPD. It contained new editors for client-side human services and cases. Fast forward a few releases to BPM 857 in 2016. That gave us the process artifact which merge the BPD and the case artifacts together. We also have grids, which allow you to lay out the content of your screens easily. Themes allow you to define color and font styles and easily apply them to your project. There's also support for responsive UI design. So this allows you to define all within one coach um, the way it looks for a large screen as well as for a small mobile screen. Finally, there's a new redesigned Web Process Inspector. Since 857, IBM has been releasing cumulative fix packs every quarter. In the September 2016 release, there is a new services section in the WebPD, which allows you to build integrations. There's also a brand new REST service, which allows you to discover an existing service based on Swagger documentation. The service flow was also introduced. It replaces several artifacts in Desktop PD, the Integration Service, the GSS, and the AJAX Service. It comes with a simplified palette for modeling. In the December 2016 release, there is a new Events section in the WebPD, which allows you to create UCAs and event subscriptions. There is also a brand new Web Services connector. Most recently, in the March 2017 release, your old heritage human services can be directly edited in the WebPD. This allows you to preserve the investment you've already made in these screens. You can now subscribe to your processes in BlueWorks Live from the WebPD. You can import a process blueprint and make it a process application to become executable within BPM. Some of the enhancements to the WebPD have equivalent features in Desktop PD. On the other hand, there are several features that are brand new to BPM and are only available on the web PD. Meanwhile, the desktop PD still works just like it always has. It can also see some of these newer artifacts and launch the web PD when needed. Here I am in the desktop PD. I have some processes. Here's an old BPD that launches in the desktop PD. And there's a newer process artifact that launches in the web PD. Desktop PD was once the tool for authoring applications in BPM. It has now stepped aside for Web PD, which is lighter, more accessible, and more capable. 
desktop PD has actually been deprecated. Dun dun dun. This news may elicit a variety of reactions from people, but what I'd like to tell you is it's really not that big of a deal. First effects. If you go to the IBM BPM Knowledge Center, you'll see a page that describes the deprecated features in the product. Scroll down and you'll see what exactly is deprecated and how to deal with it. So what exactly does that mean? Well, you can still use the desktop PD as much as you like. It's important to have around to be compatible with older applications. Desktop PD is still supported, so you can create PMRs and get bug fixes, etc. The current functionality still remains the same. Nothing's going to break. IBM's just not going to enhance it too much in the future, and we've seen this for a while now. And finally, IBM may remove support for the desktop PD sometime in the future. I personally don't think that will happen anytime soon. Let's say you want to use the web PD more. How do you deal with your older process apps? For some artifacts, you can edit them directly within the web PD. For other artifacts, you can convert them from the old one to the new. Here's an example. I'm in the desktop PD right now, and I have a, an old BPD defined in my app, as well as a GSS and an integration service. Okay? If I flip over to the web PD now, uh, if I look at my processes, you won't see the uh, BPD there, and you won't see those implementation services. But if you go to these tabs here, there's a BPD conversion tab and a service conversion tab. So let me select my two services. I will uh, convert those. Okay, I said two of them were converted. And then I'll go to my BPD and convert that as well. Okay, now you'll see that I have my old BPD uh, as a process artifact that's been converted, and then my two services have been converted to service flows. All right, let me summarize this presentation. The WebPD is an easy to use, lightweight, and easily accessible tool. IBM has made tons of enhancements to the WebPD over the years. In fact, the WebPD has eclipsed the desktop PD in capability, pun intended. WebPD has become the primary authoring tool in IBM BPM, and the desktop PD, as a result, has been deprecated. I hope you got some good value out of this presentation. I'm Win An Lei. Thanks so much for listening to me. To find me online, come to bpmania.com for more information about IBM Smarter Process.